so it is a time to study locomotory disorders yes we will imagine to be physicians so there are many many disorders when i talk about locomotory disorders they they out of all the disorders children locomotory disorders have a wide range okay at your level in class 11th for neat you will study only the most important ones among them the first which carries a lot of uh, light is myasthenia gravis all right myasthenia gravis holds a lot of importance because it is a disease caused by our own body there is no outside source hence it is an autoimmune disease this is a common question i am writing a 10 star what kind of disease what is the causative agent for myasthenia gravis the immune system of our body yeah antibodies rather attack attack the neuromuscular junction nm junction which you have studied in such a beautiful light in your previous session the motor end plate you very well know that for muscle contraction to happen you remember the entire story of acetylcholine being released at the motor end plate yeah the receptors on the sarcolemma those receptors get the acetylcholine and then the wave of contraction starts now here what will happen is these antibodies produced from our own body are going to attack those receptors my children and hence all you have to remember at your level in medical college if you go to a good college i'll always put that condition i'm not going to lie to you that it's going to be like this in all the colleges you might get a patient of myasthenia gravis to treat the treatment is very difficult because the body is producing antibodies okay so at your point you just have to remember that neuromuscular junction my favorite question is attacked by the immune system and hence the the patient undergoes paralysis of skeletal muscles they can't lift their hand they the face muscles usually face is affected usually face and eye will be affected and they will drop down there will be paralysis because there is no contraction next disease muscular dystrophy okay muscular dystrophy uh, is a disease which is uh, genetic in nature again one difficult disease i tell you children genetic diseases there's a whole topic of genetic diseases in class 12th which is one of the most interesting chunk of biology you will come across you will study about muscular dystrophy in detail what chromosome number what gene but let me tell you genetic diseases are the most unfortunate conditions children who are born with muscular dystrophy they have a genetic defect it is the largest gene i can't control to tell you it is the largest gene in the body which is involved in this disease and that gene if undergoes mutation the child does not survive maximum is 8 to 12 years i'll tell you what happens in muscular dystrophy although the mechanism is complex which you will study in class 12th there is something the dystrophin protein and everything but all in all uh, what is happening is um the muscles are not able to just grow or just um the, the structure of the skeletal muscle is not maintained all right let alone the contraction so dystrophy is that uh, the skeletal muscles are not able to even conform to a particular shape or form all right because something is happening with the calcium in the muscles you know calcium are very 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 important for muscle contraction it is the one which is going to trigger the process remember binding with the troponin and all now this calcium which which had to be released remember to bind with the troponin remember the calcium is not released there is accumulation of calcium that takes place at your point just remember muscular dystrophy 
this patient is not the function of the skeletal muscle is not happening they are not able to breathe they are not able to swallow none of the muscles are working is that clear so walking swallowing breathing all muscles are damaged their structure is also damaged their function is also damaged it's a degenerative disease all right then comes tetany we spoke about tetany remember tetany is a condition of spasm spasm is con a uh, very quick contraction and relaxation okay so there is quick 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 contraction it is not continuous contraction like some people think no that is not continuous contraction is you are just stretched body is stretched here body will be stretched come to rest stretched come to rest tetany happens if the calcium levels are more in the body fluid in the body fluid in the body fluid this is different from the calcium in the muscle do not confuse because calcium you might think ma'am actually calcium in the muscle is required for muscle contraction and here you are saying that if there is hypocalcemia let's call it hypocalcemia you will study about hy hypocalcemia in your upcoming chapters of nervous system and endocrine system please do not forget it and you will be taught tetany in detail this will come across okay so uh, what is happening in hypocalcemia the calcium is low in the body fluid and rapid contractions are taking place how it happens you will come across in nervous system okay so they affect the hand feet or even the voice box the keyword is spasm blood calcium just write the keywords next is arthritis a very common disease you know itis is inflammation yeah itis means inflammation arthros means joint isn't it children as people age this is a age related disorder okay so it happens in old people you will always come across people your grandparents telling you you know what i have a lot of pain in the knees a lot of pain in the joints generalized pain in the joints why because as we age okay the synovial fluid which is produced in the joints that gets reduced as synovial fluid which was a lubricant that gets reduced now what will happen is the wear and tear of the bones will take place at the point of friction earlier there was a space they were not touching each other it was the cavity was filled with the fluid now the fluid is out so that space also reduces reduced bone space and the joint portion becomes swollen so now what will happen is do you see the bone erosion takes place so now they will have pain and the bones will there will be inflammation inflammation and pain arthritis is of many types you don't have to study that but the most common one which is seen in old age people is the osteoarthritis common there is there are other types as well okay one type i'm going to discuss so arthritis is inflammation of joints it is a age related disorder there will be pain and stiffness you don't have to mug it up why it is stiffness my children because the lubricant is not there less synovial fluid done are you writing with me these are sure short questions okay now i want you to identify a picture what does this look like you don't have to say a biological term a simplified uh, idea that comes to your mind with this image it resembles a honeycomb it resembles a honeycomb yeah so 
This is also a disease commonly called as the porous bone. Porous bone. What is happening simply is, you know that the matrix of a normal osteocyte, if you, you, you remember the structure of the bone, it is filled with calcium salts. Remember I told you the most abundant is the calcium phosphate. Bone has a lot of calcium phosphate and collagen fibers in its matrix. But something is happening due to less calcium in the body. Due to deficiency of calcium in the body, now the bone has pores in it. The salts are getting lesser and lesser. The fibers are getting lesser and lesser. That is called as, because of its appearance, osteo is bone and the appearance is of pore, hence osteoporosis. Now, very important. Uh, let me tell you, I was just checking the previous year's papers. Osteoporosis is perhaps the most commonly asked disease. Most commonly asked disease. Okay. Now, what are the questions? We are going to write them down. Decreased bone mass, porous bone. Okay. Now, when I say that it worsens with age, there is a very big concept here. These two concepts of estrogen and age are related. You know that in menstruating women, young women, estrogen is released. Estrogen, you will study in the endocrine system. Estrogen is very important for bone health. It keeps the calcium salts intact. When a woman reaches menopause, Menopause, you understand, right? Menstrual cycle stops. Estrogen levels drop down. So, as a result, the bones start losing their calcium. And osteoporosis is more or less a hormonal as well as age-related. That is why they tell women to take care of their bone health. Okay? Now, as a result of which, as women will age, their bones will break so easily, they will become so weak because the bone density is decreasing. They will fall down somewhere and the bone will, they will simply a slip, bones will fracture. I want to tell you that there are many factors of osteoporosis. Yeah, estrogen is one. Then if you have studied, although you are going to study in detail in the chapter of endocrine disorders, uh, endocrine system rather, there is calcitonin secreted by thyroid. Yes, everybody has studied this. In previous grades and parathormone, they are antagonistic from the parathyroid. Now, one I'm going to tell you in very short. It it should not be a surprise to you uh, when you study endocrine system. Calcitonin and parathyroid work in balance. One leads to deposition of calcium in the bone, and the other takes calcium from the bone to maintain calcium in the blood. So this movement, all in all, just remember the movement keeps going on. Bone to blood, blood to bone. If, the, if there is an imbalance, if it is a thyroid disorder or parathyroid disorder, again osteoporosis can happen. Okay. If you have not understood, wait for endocrine system. Remember that. Now, after osteoporosis, remember I was saying that I'm going to tell you about a type of arthritis. There are, uh, we are not going to discuss all the types in detail. You're going to discuss the type of osteo, uh, sorry, types of arthritis, maybe once again in class 12th in human health and diseases. But now you should know that apart from osteoarthritis, there is another condition of inflammation called gout inflammation of joints. Why does this happen is, you know that although urea is the main waste products eliminated by the kidneys, our bodies also produce some amount of uric acid as a result of purine metabolism. I taught you that in excretory system, yeah, purine metabolism. Now this uric acid, if it accumulates in the body, the crystals of uric acid, the crystals of uric acid accumulate in between the joints. So imagine in between the joints, if uric acid crystals accumulate, it is going to be absolutely painful. Very, very painful. It is usually seen in the thumb. 
okay usually seen in the thumb of the feet pain swelling stiffness and redness the cause is very very clear and it is called as gout it is a type of arthritis